Little known fact here, Tesla Model 3 battery warranty is different to the battery warranty on the Tesla Model X and the Model S. Model S and X get a warranty of eight years or 240,000 kilometers. With a minimum 70% retention at battery capacity over the warranty period. So if you have less than 70% left at the end of eight years, you get a battery replacement. Tesla Model 3 warranty is slightly different, but it's the same as it is for the Tesla Model Y. But battery warranty is eight years or 160,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. What do you do then? Battery warranty is eight years or 160,000 kilometers, whichever comes first, but that's the standard range model. The performance models and the long range models get 192,000 kilometers. What do you do though, if you get over that number and your battery starts to have problems? Now it is actually true that electric car batteries can go bad and it can cost a lot of money. It doesn't cost anywhere near as much as what it used to or what the media will generally tell you because a lot of that's scaremongering, but it can be expensive. How much does it cost? Well, let's have a look at the scenario this Tesla Model 3 driver is facing, the price he was quoted, and then I'm going to suggest that there is possibly another option rather than simply dumping your old battery pack and buying a new one, there is sometimes a way you can get around this. A Tesla Model 3 owner drove his electric car for just over 150,000 miles. The battery has worn out cells near depletion, but we're not certain on this. Now, initially that's what the meter reported, but then I actually went onto Facebook. I found the guy, I found the, the reports and what he said, and he since followed up with some interesting feedback on the truth on what's been happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I have made a video in the past analyzing the costs of different electric car battery packs. Some EVs, once the battery dies, and to be fair, some EVs, the battery will never die. They just seem to last forever. They last for hundreds of thousands of miles. It's does depend a little bit on luck, it depends a little bit on climate, it depends a bit on the car, your battery pack chemistry, the way you the way you charge it, do you charge the heck out of it using fast chargers? There's some different variables here. And so the reality is EV batteries can last a long time. Generally LFP batteries now will last you hundreds of thousands of miles. And this video is sort of irrelevant for you. You might as well stop watching. No, not really. I mean, it can be relevant, but it's, for most people who have an LFP powered EV now, a modern one with a proper battery management system, you don't even need to pay any attention to this and you don't even need to worry about it because uh, we know from examples in China for, that there are BYDs and LFP battery powered vehicles that have been driving around now that have done a million kilometers, literally. It's actually pretty common. Now, this isn't the case for most battery packs outside of China. Most of them are powered by ternary batteries. So yes, your battery certainly is more likely to have issues in that case. Would you replace a Tesla Model 3 battery for 12,000 US dollars or sell it as is for $16,000? What that means is an owner of a Tesla Model 3 was offered 16,000 US dollars for his Model 3. He was quoted 12,000 US dollars for a brand new battery pack. Now he had driven about 153,000 miles in the car and he had a warning light come up on the screen saying that um, there was worn out cells near depletion. Now, from what I've seen, this does seem to be a little bit unlucky. Most Model 3 battery packs are lasting a lot longer than this. So we don't know how this guy has driven the car or whether or not he was just unlucky. I've got to say this though, 241,000 kilometers, that's considered unlucky, but it's still pretty decent. I mean, my last internal combustion engine car it was actually a Mitsubishi. It lasted almost exactly the same distance, 241,000 kilometers, and then the, the engine was dead. The car wasn't at that point worth putting a new engine in. I, I sold it for scrap for $200, seriously. At, at that point, point in time, I was trying hard to get this business up and going, um, and I was investing money into the YouTube channel. I didn't make any money for a long time. I think it took me about six months to really start making any money. Before that, I have guys who helped me here on the channel who'd help with the editing and that kind of stuff. I was paying them and I, you know, I was paying it out of my own pocket. So that's why I drove a cheap 
crappy Mitsubishi car around. But like I said, it only did 241,000 kilometers before it needed a new engine. Uh, so this can happen in internal combustion vehicles as well. In fact, obviously it often does. Anyhow, many Tesla Model 3 owners have done well over this distance. In fact, 500,000 kilometers and they're, they're on their first battery pack. So that can happen too. It really depends on the car and on the battery in your Model 3 because different Model 3s have different batteries. The long range version, it now has a ternary battery from LG Chem. No, I have my doubts about those. The standard range version has an LFP battery. And those are the ones that I have a lot more confidence in. It turns out this one was not LFP. It is a battery from the US. So US long range versions have Panasonic 2170 cells. So this Panasonic powered battery pack, it was said was having issues. The cost replacement, 12,000 US dollars. So what would you do in this situation? Would you pay your 12,000 US dollars, get your new battery pack? I mean, you've still got a vehicle that's kind of done a lot of kilometers, right? It's still done more than 150,000 miles. That's, that's a lot of driving. It's things that start to wear out at this point in time. Do you want to invest that much money in an old car? Well, this owner has done a lot of fast charging in his car. He said this, that he uses it a lot for ride sharing and extensively on road trips. So a lot of fast charging in, even though the media have reported that apparently Tesla vehicles that fast charge all the time have no more battery degradation than cars that don't, that's not really true. Tesla will tell you a different story. Pretty much every brand of these battery packs will tell you, yeah, try to limit your fast charging. That'll help your battery to last longer. So clearly this car, this EV, did do a lot more fast charging. And that could have been part of the reason that some of the cells in the battery have apparently been coming close to worn out. However, the battery health status is actually sitting at 81%, which is pretty good, meaning it should have quite a long way to go, 81%. The problem was possibly a couple of bad cells. So if you have a couple of bad cells in an entire pack, it can render the entire pack useless theoretically, or at least that's what we used to think anyway. Now, the reality is now in the United States, you guys are pretty lucky here because you guys have some really good battery techs over there now who can, in fact, take apart a battery pack and fix those cells. That does happen. Now, can you do that with a 4680 cell Tesla pack that are going in the new Tesla Model Y standard range? That'll be pretty difficult. You've seen them get taken apart by Sandy Munro took it apart. They're held together with this kind of funky pink glue and it looks like it would be very challenging to do. It may not be logical to do so in that case. If you jump on eBay, by the way, you'll see that actually, even if this guy did get rid of his old battery pack, he could still sell it for quite a bit of money. People sell all the modules in Tesla battery packs for quite a lot of money. So all the modules, aside from a couple of bad cells, would have still had 81% capacity and still have been very, very valuable. So you're not gonna just go and dump this battery pack. That would, you'd only be an idiot if you did that because whoever you dumped it, wherever you dumped it, someone would run along and say, well, look, gold, there's some gold on the ground. Great, I'll take that. You just don't, if you're, if you're presented with this idea, if, if someone comes to you and says, oh mate, your, your old EV battery, you've had it for a long time now, it needs to be replaced. Um, I'll get rid of it for you for free. That guy's taking you for a ride because he's gonna sell it and make a lot of money out of you. Even if there's some cells in there that are dead, they're still a very valuable commodity. In addition to that, the new metals index now has black mass listed on the metals index. And that's basically battery scrap. They basically grind the batteries up, turn it into a powder, and they call that black mass. And apparently it's worth 10,000 US dollars per ton. What does a battery weigh? Well, it weighs about 600 kilos. So that's 6,000 US dollars right there in and of itself, just in recycled scrap material if you were to go that route, which you generally wouldn't unless the battery was very, very well worn, which this one was not. So the question is here, what would you do? Well, so like I said, you've actually got three options or maybe even four. So a bit of a difficult choice. You could go with the, just take the battery pack out and then you could sell it off on eBay, the individual sells, or you can find someone who'll do that too. You can sell them the pack for a few thousand dollars and then they'll go in and sell it for more than that individually, but they've got to go to the hassle of selling them. Alternatively, you could also replace the pack for 12,000 US dollars, 
You could keep driving it, it's still drivable until it just dies, which it may or may not, or you can actually get it fixed. Now there are some mechanics, like I said before, that can fix those cells, but there's not a whole lot of them. So it depends on what city you're in and if you can find someone to do that. Now the thing is, and this story wasn't reported on properly by the media, the guy has since gone on his car and he hasn't seen that message again. He's continued to drive it and the message has actually disappeared. So we don't know if that message came up um, and it was legit. Does this battery pack really need to be replaced? I mean, it's at 81%. It's still got quite a lot of capacity left in the battery. Or is there a couple of cells that could go bad and stop working? The truth behind this story is, is that the car is still driving and the warning message has now disappeared. Now, hopefully we'll get an update from him soon. But either way, you can see that with an EV battery pack, it doesn't go into landfill. Only a moron would put their EV battery in landfill because they're very, very valuable. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.